Hey, don't listen to him. Listen to me, okay? That's what's up here. Okay, we got another gator announcement, okay? We're fixing to ease across here and catch a 12-footer. All right, <laughs> done. 12-footer, here we come. You call this is Uncle Jerry's Adventures. Being this one there, right? Same one. Hey, 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 guys, this is Adam here with Florida Man Adventures. We're going gator hunting today. But we also do the catch, clean, and cook without the clean. Hey, check this out right here. Y'all like Maryland blue crab cakes? Those are gator cakes straight from Florida. We catch one small gator to start with and then wait until the next gator that we hook up to. Boys, let me tell you, he gave us trouble. Hey, appreciate you being here. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, drop down and leave a comment. We're about to cook some gator cakes and catch two big old gators. Appreciate you guys being here. Stay long for the ride. Perfect cast. Nope, it was on his back. Here's the thing. If you catch him on the first cast, we don't have an episode. What fun yeah. is a YouTube video. He, he just trying ain't got no content. He, yeah, he's just trying to put up he's just trying to put up the excuses why he can't catch something. <laughs> See if you can catch one of the wood storks over there. See them over there? Right in his mouth. Oh, mother. This is why we're a Beyond Break partner now. This, what's on this room currently is power. Oh, it was right here. It was right here. Oh, you hit him in the back. They got so many gators out here, they can't keep up with them. And they can't catch one either. <laughs> Look at these jokers go. <laughs> Did you get any big dog? I finally got him. Want me to take that one? Yeah. Uh, hold on to that. Keep that thing tight now. Keep it tight. Uh, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Wrong side. Yeah, I agree. No, what are you? I'm left handed. Yeah, that ain't on the right, on the wrong side. <laughs> Got you in the right direction on this left handed pole. There you go. Oh, you're in this mouth. Yeah, you got him in the mouth. That's the wrong spot for that hook to be. It's oh, pretty, oh, pretty heavy. I'll bring him up here to you. I'll The YouTube comments on the way you're reeling are going to be ferocious. I'm reeling? No. Uh, both of you, actually. Adam, you got a rock. I got him. Well, how no, he's got him over there then? <laughs> That's a rock. <laughs> That's, that's definitely, that's definitely him. Okay, you can fit. Best place to get it. Tighten, tighten. Got him? Yep. Open the valve. Did you get a tight? Oh, looks like a surprise. Okay. Here we go. Don't roll. If you roll, I'm letting you go. I don't want you wrecking my line. Yeah, because he's going to whack my face. All right. Pull it over the edge. Mm -hmm. Watch that hook in him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's too expensive. Yeah. Okay. Right there. All right. There. Right there. Right there. It took a minute, He's but safe. it was a good warm up. So we got a seven footer in the boat. Look, We're going to catch two more. It, 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 yep, I'm not moving my feet. Okay. So, that being said, we got a couple more to catch. After we catch a couple more, yeah, this is going to be a first catch and cook video with, with Gator because I'm going to start doing a whole series for you guys. So stay tuned. We're going to catch two more. Hey, don't listen to him. Listen to me, okay? That's what's up here. Okay, we got another Gator announcement, okay? We're fixing to ease across here and catch a 12 footer. Okay? All right, <laughs> done. 12 footer, here we come. <laughs> Now guys, that was a gator there. We're sitting here chilling out, letting him calm down. Ten feet from the boat, I seen him snick his, stick his nose up. That's the gator that we've been trying to catch in here today. And they can come down for as long as they want. They don't have to bring their whole head up to breathe. All they have to do is just put that vent. That's all they have to do. Just porpoise a little bit. That's all they have to do. And unfortunately for him, I seen him. So y'all know what that means? This is this is a good gator. Put another one in him. As smart as he is to do like that. He, we call this his Uncle Jerry's Adventures out here. <laughs> What do you think, Mike? Ten footer? Uh, I think he's solid eight. Nine six. I seen his nose. He's he's, he's good. Yeah, he was kind of a, a, a length of how wide his trail he was. Kind of sleeping it. down there. I mean, he didn't really. Here you go. Oh, he got him now. So coming around. You got the double. You got the double deal going on here. Now see, here's what you do. Pay attention to what you're doing. You have to be patient. You guys have to be patient. I'm telling you. Here, here, Uncle Jerry. 
<laughs> You're Uncle Jerry now, I guess. Take your snagger. Here, keep that thing tight. No, he's laying on the bottom. Yeah. You gonna lift or what? I can lift you when you bring left-handed cigarette looking deal going on. Hey, always remember. Hell cattle send me more rods, but we can't catch this gator twice. You know what I'm saying? It's frayed pretty, but look, yeah, look at that fray right, right above there, the water. Right there, right on the water. Look at hey, that fray. That fray ain't nothing but character. Okay. <laughs> that fray Tell me about character when we lose him. Well, it's hard for me to. Now, I think he's heading us up this way. If you come in front mm -hmm. of me and go this way, just on the yeah. side of my line, you're going to get him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he got him. Right. Well, he got some booty on him. Uh, oh, he is heavy. Might be. <laughs> I got him in the head. What do you want me to do? Free spoon, come here. I'm going to grab his tail, pull him in the boat, and put the glass around his head. All right. I'm opening my rod. You want me to hold that rod? Yeah, can you hold us some film? I can hold us some film. This son of a bitch is tied up 10 ways a Sunday. Hang on, I'm, open, I'm opening my bell. Now, if he starts going, you just let him go. Come on. Yeah, just be careful. <clears throat> yeah, don't let that head come up here. Be you ready, Mike? I'm trying. Hold what you got. Let get him. Just hold what you got. Let me get it. He's trying to grab my finger and I'm trying to grab his. There we go. There you go. Now right. grab it. He swings that head. Watch your forearm. There you go, right there. You got him? I think so. You, you, you're, you're on him. We got him. No. All right, I'm going to drop his tail. Yeah, you got him. you hold on to his tail. Mike, I'll come up there and grab his. Hang on, just to be safe here. Let me get this hook out. Just hold the hook. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Gerald, if you can free up all like this reel here, That's there you go. Already, he already gave up. Just stick it out the back. All right. Is he taped good? Yeah, don't pull on the tape though. <laughs> so We're doing this bass backwards. Move that paddle out of the way. Okay. Hang on. Get that line clear. All hooks are clear. All right. Let's two, one, two, three. three. Oh. All right. Now we gotta tape his legs up. Hang on to him. Yeah, I had mine roll. I don't know what happened. I told you guys. Hey, wait, listen. Wait. It's two gators in the boat. I think I had the first line of both. No, you didn't. Hey, that's why oh, you're, you had hey, the first line. Mike, and it was still in it when you Mike, Mike. <laughs> Hey, here's the deal. I told y'all it's all about being patient. When we went, we sat on that point. I said, let's calm down, let them settle. And they settled. I'm telling you, he put his nostrils out of the water this much. Literally, this got a breath. Unfortunately for him, it was right next to our boat. <laughs> right next to the boat, and dad seen it. And now here he is. Close to 10. He, he might just barely. So, hey, I promise you three gators. We're going to catch one more. And then I'm gonna show you one of the best gator recipes that you could ever imagine. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to cook it so it ain't chewy, it's not gamey, and it's That's mucho good. delicioso. All right, gang, I'm telling you, we're wore out after this big gator and that other good gator. But I told you we was gonna catch three before we went and cooked. So we after number three, and he's right up here. He's right up there. We just easing in behind this island. We're about to smoke his butt. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, turn notifications on. We getting there, boys and girls, we getting there. Oh, mother frigger. Oh. oh, shit, he don't like that. You're going to be on the move. I'm always worried about casting over him. Yeah, I know. Well, them birds are fighting over there, boy. Yeah. You know, what Sparky. I don't know where that gator went, though. I think that was him. I can tell you guys just how this is going to go. Y'all seen it before and you'll see it again. We gonna, we've gonna we already caught these two gators. We're tired. We ain't got no water. And what's going to happen is, is right before we're about to leave, we're going to catch up on one. And we're going to hook up. And he's going to give us all we got for about two hours. That's how this party is probably going to end. You know what I'm saying? I've read this book before. And that's just that's just what's going to happen. But I'm here for it. You here for it? No. No? <laughs> you here for it? Hey. <laughs> we're here for it. So... I got to eat.
Let's get to it. I know, I'm hungry. You know Publix ain't just down the road. Oh, uh, drop me off. Grab hungry, baby. Food. Listen, Uber eats some Publix to the gate. <laughs> 40 yards. Oh, right there. oh, he's right there. Nope, nope, he was this he's way. Right there. He's right there. Oh, see the bubbles on the left? He just came up right there. Oh. He was sitting on the bottom right there where y'all were talking about. Well, guys, here's kind of where we are. We're tired. These gators have been had more pressure this afternoon than they've ever had in years. Bubbles. And, uh, yep, yep, there's bubbles. That's where he's at. Yeah, he's up. He's up. Popped up. We ain't got much more time until we going home. But we're going to try to. There's another big one cut off the point over there. I'm telling y'all, I done read this book before. I know what's going to happen. Thank you. Well, we tried and we tried. And we caught two good gators. We caught one really big gator. Being that one there. What did we say he was? Big, seven. Bigger, oh, bigger than bone, boy. <laughs> And I try to get number three for y'all, but it's getting dark. We haven't eaten dinner, we don't have waters, and we're ready to go home. And we gotta do I something. I gotta get him in and I gotta leave for the VA at seven in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we got things to do. I gotta work tomorrow. What do you gotta do tomorrow? Charter. Don't forget, if you guys wanna go inshore or near shore, look right there. So, as I was trying to say before that gator came up again, he's gonna get to live another day. So, hey, y'all stay tuned for what's in the kitchen. I'm about to tell y'all all about it. And guys, just like that, we are from the lake to the kitchen. And I got something special for you that we're cooking up today. We're cooking alligator cakes. Just like you guys know, you have crab cakes in Maryland. We're about to make gator cakes in Florida, the thing to eat. I'm gonna show you guys just how to do it. But you gotta start with processed alligator meat. This gator meat right here was done at a processor. It's been ran through a cuber. All the fat that's been trimmed off of it. And what we're gonna do here, you got your meat, you got about a pound of meat. So I got my meat here and we're just gonna take it. You see these pieces that we have right here? They're, you know, big as your finger. I'm gonna dice them up to be teeny tiny. So about that big, just little bitty pieces of meat. Because just like with the lump crab meat, this is gonna be lump gator meat and you don't want big pieces because we're gonna try to get these crab cakes crispy, hold a lot of flavor, and you don't wanna have any type of palate burden when you are chewing. So we're gonna get these things as small as we can and just like this we got our minced gator meat here we'll have about i don't know a cup and a half and from everything i read you're supposed to match gator meat with the herb seasoning but first but first let's take this gator meat here and put it in a paper towel and then we're going to squish it and get the water out what you're not going to be able to do is if, it, if this has a bunch of water content in it you're not going to be able to get a good crunch and we want a good crunch on these crab cakes because who wants soggy nasty crab cakes so we're gonna work that like that. Get all as much of the moisture out of there as you can. So we'll have, let's see here. I bet we'll have probably a cup and a half of that finely minced skater meat. And you guys see, that's I have them cut up into pieces just like that. I mean, they're they're tiny, but we don't want this to have huge chunks of gator. In it. We want it to have protein, but not too much chunk. So hey, there's a cup. And we'll have yeah, about a cup and a third. We'll get all that out of there. And then I got this Pepperidge Farm herb seasoning, the classic stuff in here. I like it. So that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna take this and get about a cup. Put a cup of that like that right there. And then I'm gonna put get a Ziploc bag to put this in because I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of this in this Ziploc bag and I'm gonna crush it up to where it's a little bit finer than it is straight out of the bag. Well, that's actually about looks as you want it. We'll crush it up real fine. This thing I do this without making mess. If Amber comes home and there's freaking breadcrumbs everywhere, this may be my last YouTube video ever. We'll take a little bit of Spring Thread hot sauce. Just give it a good crush like that. Get all those big pieces crushed down to where it's edible. About like, yeah, that looks good. There's little pieces and big pieces, but not too big. So we got a cup and a half there into the bowl. Yeah, these big bad boys go in there too. You know the hardest part about doing these catching cooks is when you're six four, you're way up here, and you got to bend down for these freaking cabinets. So I'm having to get down to like five eight here. So we got our gator, we got our breadcrumbs. Oh, you know what? Let's do a little bit more. Yeah, that looks about right, right? What do you think? Pretty good mixture, whatever. And I got two eggs here. These eggs are gonna kind of bind everything together. Egg there, little crack, little egg there. Those are bald eagle eggs. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. We'll give it eight shakes or so, maybe 10. A little Frank's red hot sauce here, because it's just the boys eating today and we like it spicy. About that much. And you know, I see a lot of recipes that call for mayo. 
I'm not gonna do mayo because I think mayo's disgusting. Don't know why, always have, probably always will. But you know what ain't disgusting? That Chick-fil-A sauce, baby. So we'll give about that much, and then we're gonna fold it all together, and it's gonna look like this. We got our whole mixture here mixed up. I had to add a little bit of breadcrumbs, um, just cause thicken it up a little bit. Uh, because crab cakes are like the men that you wanna date if you're a lady watching this. You want them good and thick and strong, just like these crab cakes. So hey, I think we're good there. All we're gonna do, we're gonna be using the air fryer. I'm not putting these in the oven. We're gonna be using the air fryer. So I got a little bit of wax paper here. A little bit of wax paper. I'm gonna get them out like this. We'll make it, just make a little ball. Make a little ball about like that. And then I'm gonna press it flat. Cause remember, you want these to have a little bit of crunch to them. So we're gonna press them flat like that right there. And hey, that's what we got. We got the beginning of a gator cake, just like that right there. And hey, I got a magic trick I'm gonna show y'all because in three, two, one, we got nine gator cakes ready to go in the air fryer. Come on over here, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Excuse my mess, we got all these dang cups. Why do these kids have to have all these cups? I'm, I tell you what, look at this, look at that. Look at all them cups. They drink out of one cup at a time, but they got 60 of them, completely unnecessary. Anyhow, I'm gonna take this, slide in the air fryer. I hope that wax paper don't catch the fire. Turn it on, we're gonna come up here to air fry. We're gonna set our time, let's set it for 15 minutes. 400 degrees, actually you know what? I like it a little hotter. A little 450 there, and hey, we're gonna let it rip. And just like I showed you the magic trick earlier, check out this magic trick. Just because every good crab cake has to have a sauce, every good gator cake has to have a sauce too. So we're gonna stay with the theme, hot sauce, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and a little Chick-fil-A. Just Worcestershire sauce, just mix it until you don't wanna mix. A little bit of that, a little bit of that hot sauce, a little bit of that lemon juice, about that much. I'd say what, equal, equal, equal thirds, and then take your Chick-fil-A sauce, about that much. And then, I'm gonna take like this right here, and just mix it up. It'll be a little bit runny, but that's okay, because that's just how things are gonna be. It's a little bit runny, that's what you're about. Woo, about that right there, yeah, boy. About like that right there. Mm-hmm, it's gonna be all right, let's see. It's pretty good, that's it. Now, let's finish up this magic trick. Gator cakes are done. I'll tell you one thing though, 450, a little too warm. Try like 425. So, they aren't burnt, but they're kind of, you know what? They're actually just right. They're just crispy. But you know, one thing about a crab cake and really anything that you're looking for for crunch, you wanna give it a little bit of time to rest. So we're gonna give these about five minutes to rest and we're gonna do a little taste test. All right guys, well hey, 15 minutes in the air fryer. We actually had to turn it down to 425 because 450 was a bit much for the old gator cakes. But hey, look at here. Look at that right there. Y'all tell me that that right there don't look like one of the best crab cakes you ever had, except we put the dinosaur in it from here in the great beautiful sunshiny state of Florida. Hey, it's time to try it now. We're gonna take that crab cake, a little bit of that sauce that we, we made, do a little drizzle over it. We put that drizzle on it. Like I ain't gonna take and dump it in that sauce before I eat it. We'll give it a try though. They're just the right crisp. Honestly, I just hope the gator is done. We'll have to check that here in a minute. Here it is. The first time you have ever seen a gator cake probably cooked ever, because I ain't found one till this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Those are legit. The gator, not chewy at all. Sometimes gator is chewy. This gator is not chewy at all. It tastes just like a crab cake. Like, I am by no means a chef, but I ain't gonna lie to you, I nailed that one, dude. I'm gonna eat all nine of these. Hey, I appreciate you guys hanging along for this whole video. I'm gonna start doing more catching cooks for you guys, um, because a lot of the questions I get is how do you cook alligators? How do you prepare it? You gotta be careful with it. Um, you, you, you gotta be careful careful with it and it's gotta be handled correctly. But hey, I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Gator season starts in two weeks. Also doing something else for you guys. Every Friday, we're gonna have Florida Man Friday. There will be a long video every Friday from now until they kick me off of this mother frigger. So hey, don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, drop down, leave a comment. If you a chef and I miss something in these crab cakes, tell me what I missed. If you got something that you want me to cook up next time with some gator, just let me know. Hey, I appreciate you guys, appreciate the support. Thanks for being along for the ride. And remember, if you drew tags anywhere south of Orlando and you need help, myself, Billy, Tyler, if, if, if I'm booked, one of them can help you. And if none of us are booked, we may all be on the boat. If you need help, you just let me know. We'll get you on the books. It ain't free. It ain't going to be free. It's going to cost a little bit of money. But we got stuff to pay for too. So, hey, we're going to see y'all. Appreciate you being here. Catch y'all next Friday.